Hello everyone, today we are going to migrate the original SSD drive from the Asus ROG Ally, the 500 and something uh, gigabyte SSD drive to a 2 terabyte drive from Western Digital Black. And to do that I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible and you are going to need something like this, but you can find alternatives that are two times cheaper. Uh, but I wanted to get this because it's actually much more better quality and it's very fast and you can see a full review of this device somewhere around here. Uh, definitely a nice to have and it has very nice cooling properties, solid metal, so I'm going to skip uh, that. So all in all it's a very good device. So the Western Digital Black Drive is already inserted here. And now I'm going to connect this to the ROG Ally using the included cable here. And now we are going to try to migrate the OS, the internal SSD drive, directly to this one. So the disk is already initialized. Again, you can check here how to do that. And we are going to use Disk Genius, which is a free app. Right. And this should allow us to move a clone of the internal drive to the external drive even if it's bigger so you have this OS migration option here and it asks us if the D drive which is this one the external one is the correct one that we want to migrate and we are going to select it and press OK and it tells us that if we have anything on that drive is going to be formatted it's also important to do this and expand the target this is done visually and you are going to expand this to use the whole space that is now available so the OS that is on this drive will only represent this small part on the new drive and you have all the space of the new drive available if you don't want to actually create another extra partition so if you want to use a single drive with all of that together so that's an idea to take into consideration. And now we are going to start cloning it. So I'm going to press on start. OK, and I'm going to use hot migration option. And this is going to take some time. All right, and the cloning is done. And now I have to turn off the handheld and replace the drive and see if it starts or not. So now I'm going to take it out of the protective casing. Uh, this is optional uh, step for you. All right, and because I don't want to break the joysticks, I'm going to use actually some foam pad that fits something like this. And I can put it on the screen and the joysticks don't touch the desk here. So they are protected and I can work normally on this and I need a Phillips screwdriver to take out one two three four five six screws and let's take them out then to Further, take this apart. I'm going to put that screw there. So you should start from this part here. And if you have very good fingernails, you should be able to press and pull. But if it doesn't work that way, use something like this. This is usually used for mobile phones. So gently go around and pry out the case. Don't go fast on this step because there are some small plastic clips that can break off and you don't want to do that. Also keep in mind that we have actually here five screws that are the same length while this screw here it's much more shorter. So also when you take this cover out this screw has a protection washer that doesn't allow it to go out. And now we have opened the ROG Ally and we have access here to the SSD drive. Be sure that this is off when you start to doing this. Uh, I might recommend you to take the battery plug out, 
but that's optional if you know what you are doing so we are going to remove this protection here where the SSD drive resides and we are going to replace it with the new one and we are going to take out the SSD drive the original one so it has one single screw we need to be careful with that so the screwdriver doesn't hit anything so the screw is out and we are going to take the drive also out and there it is the original one and now from the external one we are going to take the new drive and insert it Right, we are using the special tool from the drive to take this apart and we get the new drive there it is we are going to install this one and use the original handheld tool screw to install this back Now we are going to put the protection foil back the place where it was and we are going to replace the back cover this is not going to start because it has here a sensor a light sensor that knows that it's open or not you can either cover this area here with something to test it or put the cover back to see if it works or not and now here's another tip uh, your device might not start when you press the button. It's not going to do anything. So just take a USB cable and connect this to the power supply or to the original charger. I'm going to use a power bank for this demonstration and allow it a few moments to take some power in and that's going to turn it back on. And now I should be able to start it up. And there we go, let's see what happens now. And as simple as that, it's back in Windows. No problem logging in. And all that I have installed previously, it's here, it's working. Let's see how my computer looks now. So plenty of space now to install all the stuff that I want. So the migration was successful and as you have seen very simple using free software and only a reader for your new SSD drive and all SSD drive and now of course you can use this reader to repurpose your old SSD drive and turn it into an awesome portable SSD drive and here are also the results with uh, crystal mark with the new SSD drive. Another word of advice when you finish with this and it's working fine you can run a command prompt in elevated administrator mode and then you can uh, run a system file checker and also a deployment image servicing and management uh, tool to check all the system files if they are okay and all Windows components. So do that because it's better and for it's going to be more stable in the wrong run if something was messed up during the cloning of the drive also if you are going to install the western digital drive uh, this comes with an app actually they do not advertise this app but you can get it from their website and it's going to recognize right away the drive and you have here various options but the more important one it's this it's going to tell us that there is a firmware update for this drive which we are going to do and hopefully it's not going to just delete everything that we've done until now the firmware update was successful risk on and we are 
okay with that so you get here various options such as stream windows stream automatic dream schedule so there are some interesting options so it's nice to have and you can check some things regarding your uh, ssd drive such as reading the smart attributes and you have this nice overview here you can see the temperature of the drive which is also important for ssd drives and the activity and as simple as that you have migrated to a larger ssd drive no drama there and all you have to do now is to put the back screws on one is the one that you cannot put in another place because it had that washer and the five other ones and you are done with this so be sure to follow my next uploads and until then see you and bye bye